The invention of writing gives life to great thoughts, but it is invention of printing that makes knowledge a shareable fruit of all humankind, instead of only the privileged ones. Back to the sixth century, when China had a strong need to produce large amount of Buddhist statues and scripture. For the spread of Buddhism, people tried to combine the imprinting technique with inking technique. They used knives to carve characters and images on the wood block. They inked the block and achieved a print on the paper or cloth. Thus, there came the wood block printing. The birth of printed Diamond Sutra, a Buddhist scripture with both characters and intricate images, marked the maturity of woodblock printing. During the year 1040 to 1048, on the basis of woodblock printing, Bi Sheng invented the movable type printing, which is acclaimed as one of the four inventions in ancient China, and has played. An unprecedented role in the world's cultural dissemination history. Woodblock printing of the Song Dynasty is famous for its refined carving art, good material, and careful proofreading. The Song Dy typefaces, a special category of typefaces, are originated from it. In the Ming Dynasty, woodblock watermarking and blank stamping with colors emerged, driving the traditional woodblock printing technology onto a new level. In different historic periods thereafter, woodblock printing flourished across China. In the Qing Dynasty, it was applied in broader areas. And turned out more mature. There sprang up many famous printing centers, such as Beijing, Nanjing, Suzhou, Yangzhou, Hangzhou, Guangzhou, Foshan, Dege, and Tibet. Among which, the centers within today's Jiangsu and Zhejiang provinces were most prosperous. During Kangxi's reign of the Qing Dynasty, the emperor commanded Cao Ying. The head of the Salt Administration for Lianghuai Region, around present Huaihe River, to establish the Yangzhou Poetry Bureau in the Tianlin Temple of Yangzhou, where he invited people who are skilled in woodblock printing from all across China to print more than 300 volumes of books, including the woodblock print Poetry of the Tang Dynasty, with refined printing and proofreading art. Such achievements helped Yangzhou to become one of the most famous woodblock printing regions in China. Traditional woodblock printing has very complex technological process, which can be divided into four steps: material preparation, wood carving, inking and imprinting, and binding and layout. Each step then can be subdivided into several procedures. Which varies due to changes in printing types and requirements. The whole process is antique and elegant. There is also some unique skills in woodblock printing. The knife using methods varies in a hundred ways, always depending on different typefaces and material nature. The ink is made from pine wood with secret method, so that the scent is fragrant and color never fades. Douban printing, a watercolor block printing, is invented for colored illustrations, employing this technique for every different color of the picture. A separate wood block is made. These blocks are printed sequentially. The douban printing produces a hand-painted effect, which faithfully expresses the original painter's feelings. The douban print thus earns a reputation. Wonder work. Those Asian works printed in rice paper 
also employs complex binding skills and procedures. Its forms include butterfly fold binding, double leaf binding, and accordion binding, which are aimed to be elegant and reader friendly. The woodblock printing skills are taught in words and learned by careful heart and hard practice. Some classic skills and technologies are difficult to copy, even for modern printing technologies. The inheritance of woodblock printing is very unique. Apart from regular family inheritance and master to apprentice inheritance, different printing and publishing organization forms such as government printing, private workshop printing, and family printing presents different forms of inheritance. In the late Qing dynasty and at the beginning of the Republic of China, Yangzhou emerged a professional self-organized team with fine skills led by wood block printing craftsmen from Hangji, being called the Hangji Yang Gan. They went everywhere in China, especially active in Jiangsu and Zhejiang provinces. All these are vital elements of the extension of the traditional technology. Currently, the wood block printing technology is inherited by the Guangling Historical Printing House in Yangzhou. The printing house has put many wood block printing craftsmen, published many precious ancient books, and wood block printed some rarely seen versions of ancient books. The house has also created a set of skills to sort out ancient books and restore the original printing version and preserve some 300,000 original wood blocks of ancient books. For this reason, the technology is also called Yangzhou wood block printing. The central government and local government always pay great attention to the inheritance and protection of wood block printing. Besides policy making, Yangzhou has built a large-scale China wood block printing museum and relevant folk groups have opened several wood block printing practicing houses. Such activities has helped the wood block printing extend its cultural and technological life to play its role in cultural continuity and showcase the wisdom of human beings and promote the sustainable development. <laughs>